Alrighty, so you have two versions with the cars. And yeah, I think taking this guy out is totally fine. I don't think because there is no sound for that first car, so it's a bit weird. I don't think I do. And you wouldn't want someone overpowering this, so I'm totally fine. Taking this out, let's go to this version. Take down the sound. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? I do do that. I don't think I do that. Now, you're mentioning that you want to take out the steps because of opposing motions and everything. That's totally fine. I can totally see why you would do that. Personally, of course, I would say it It would still be good. I would still add it, but I can totally see why you don't want to do it. I would just be something, I would just think about that for your next shot. Maybe something you can incorporate into your planning. But the way you also have it is that because of this turn, there is just a bit of a movement there. That gives us more movement here. Then you go back this way and straighten up. So I think there's still enough movement and contrast. It would be cool to see, you know, I'm just curious to see how, because you're really, really good at animating, how you would incorporate those um, those steps. But totally understand that you want to potentially do that for another time or not at all. Totally fine as well. I don't think I do that. It's a great shot, though, I have to say. I don't think I do that. I like your little <laughs> finger detail. If you do a big turn like this, you might, for polish, um, consider things where <clears throat> if she turns, she's going to tense up, muscles are firing for that turn. A little bit of a detailed polish thing could be then tighten the grip here, not to kind of squeeze out those flowers, but you would tighten here as an anticipation. You could see almost, you could almost relax the fingers into, or meaning in a relaxed pose, you can see a bit more of the fingers, then tighten them into something like this. You might also have a little bit of, and I know this is super picky because it's so fast, but maybe potential a bit of tightening of shoulders, just a bit, so it doesn't feel like it's just a root turning. I don't think I do that. But it's a nice stop. Just, that's just enough. Body movement through here. You could, of course, also say, well, what if there's a bit more tense stuff here, and then when she stops, she wants to hold on to this as she turns and when she's done here they could relax a little bit nothing you know again nothing crazy where the thumb goes here and the fingers go out just something subtle since we are in the polish phase same thing here so you don't want to have just a pose that never really changes except for here which is good if you are taking out this finger though i would relax that one as well so it doesn't feel like it's such a separated finger move so there's also a bit influence, some influence on the surrounding fingers. So as you relax the top grip, it would relax the middle finger as well. I don't think I do that. And it seems like this is an IK arm, right? I don't think I do that. It just has an ever so slight feel of disconnected wrist during this move here. This is super picky. And it might not be, it might just be the way it's animated right there. It's not something that stood out on the first viewing. Again, I'm just going frame by frame because I'm picky. I don't think I do that. You're also paying for this, so I want to give you as much information as possible. And of course, it's totally up to you to see what you want to do with this. And going back to your finger again, if you do a big move through here, there's some surrounding animation on there, so it doesn't feel so separated. I do do that. And even here, when she goes, <gasps> And she has the realization. I think you have something in the finger here. I think you could push that a bit more since it's such a big move. I do. Careful that you don't twin too much. I would look at how she holds this. This could be a bit, you know, like the weight is different. Again, this is not a massive weight difference, but the properties of these two objects are still different. And you can use that as a an excuse, so to say, uh, so to speak, for offsetting those arms a bit more. Subtle, but. They do feel a bit twin through all of this. And I'm wondering, if you're doing this, do I do, that? do I do that? That you might go either higher or a bit lower, so that when you're here, that the forearm doesn't grow out of the wrist. Look at the colors and everything, it feels like it's one continuous long arm. So there could be a bit of a breakup silhouette wise. Even if it's something like this, where you can see part of the sleeve during this section would be better. 
do do that. I do like your shoulder roll and come out here. I do do that. That's all great. Potentially also offsetting a little bit more. My thing for this would be this is all cool. You have nice arcs. I do do that. You're changing the fingers. That's all good. What I'm reacting to is the head fermentation. So I like all that movement here. All the little darts, the thought process this is all really good. I really love the shot, it's so well animated. My only thing would be here. This all still feels one axis. The head goes up. There's a little bit of Y here. But then watch out. Because like we're ever so slightly locked where I can put a pin into her nose and everything kind of pivots off of that and there seems to be a little bit of a stretch in the face where again the nose seems like it's pinned in the screen space. So watch out for that. But what you could do is through this and especially that as she goes back with a slight rotation Y either way, whatever side you want to turn, the slight complexity in her arc and then do do that. ending into this which is totally fine. Because I like that she is straight, it's a bit more alert, it doesn't have to be a tilt. But it's something where when she goes through a little bit of this, it could have a little bit of an outside arc into that and maybe something like this where it's just a bit more complex. Just it feels a bit too simple. There's so much good stuff in here that this move back on her head is a bit simple. And again, I'm talking subtleties. I don't think I do that. And then speaking of uh, changes there, watch out for this when... That's a great pose. I like that it's opened up through here. If we're looking this way, that's all great. But then it feels like a hook comes in here and pulls out that shape. So you might have to delete it, delete it, delay it, which gets into the almost pose to pose thing. But it feels like this corner is so early, drawing so much attention to that to that change there. Just something that is a bit a bit strong. And again, I'm talking a couple frames where you could have that happen a bit later or just not as fast, not as far. So by now you would be maybe only here. And then as she does this, you finish that. So you still get into that big shape, but the ease in happens throughout something through here. So that whole head move softens that ease in, if that makes sense. So it doesn't feel like such an isolated shape change through there. I think I do that. I don't think I do that. I would also soften that eyebrow. It seems like boom, then we hit it where you could almost go, you know, only 20% as far. And then this amount of movement, maybe, maybe it's just that much, would happen through this, which again might not be visible because of all that head move. But it feels like we're stopping this too harshly and you want to ease into that a bit more. I do that. And you can almost relax through here to go a bit down and then whoop, as she goes back up doing all of this go up a bit again this is cool just watch out that it's not too one axis going left and right on that shake there I, do that. No, I think it's okay I don't think I do that. no it's great because you're having down and then whoop, a hold and a relaxation up with the head it's great I don't think I do that. Such a great line. Do that. Do I do that? I do do that. That's all great. Yeah. Sorry, I was mesmerized by the animation. I was looking at her eyes. How is that little, that stare? And then it's the shift. I was debating. Do we want to do an eye dart right before? But I don't think so. I think she snaps out of that moment through the blink. But the blink goes, wait. That's something else. Then you got the darts. I do do that. <laughs> That big. This is great. This move here. I do do that. Yeah, it just seems like those, those arms are a bit twinned. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? Got shoulders here. I do do that. I think that's it. I'm sure, a ton of it was just crazy picky. Like if I screw up through, I see this box going up a bit by itself. I mean, I see some wrist movement. It might just be. It might just be a bit too much. I know we're getting into this. Okay, well, then, hold on. You are framing through things. This is ridiculous. Yes, it is. But you are an awesome animator. So I feel like I can just give you all those notes and you can absolutely take what you need from it. 
and this side of the box going up I think I would just mask that in, through this section here so it's not that isolated move up here that I'm not seeing as much in here So picky though. Here it's okay. You are switching, like you are bringing that wrist up. For, so for this to go down, again, you might argue on this, you could potentially by here ish, as you go down, bring that thumb down a tiny bit and potentially have a little bit of a change in these. Again, this is like super picky polish stuff. As she changes posture, the grip strength, all of this could be seen in some finger polish. Speaking of picky, as you uh, get your roses here, it's a bit of a tangent. You got the edge of the roses right where the cheeks are. Personally, I would stick within something like here. That much negative space. Picky, picky. I know, I know. But it is so awesome. I just want to bring out everything here. I do do that. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Any questions, as always, let me know. Email me. It's such a great shot. I love the, the progression of this. It's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for sending this. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.